let's simplify the fraction 6 24ths. And here's how we'll do it. What we're trying to do is find another fraction that has the same value as 6 over 24, an equivalent fraction. It's just that it would be reduced to its lowest form. So we need to look at the factors of 6 and 24 and find a factor that goes into both 6 and 24. So here are the factors of 6 and 24. So as we look at the factors of 6 and then of 24, we're looking for a common factor, the greatest common factor here. And I see I have a 6 here and here. So if we divide 6 by 6 and 24 by 6, we'll have reduced 6 24ths down to its lowest terms. Let's move this over here. So 6 divided by 6, that's just 1. 24 divided by 6, that's just 4. So we've reduced the fraction 6 24ths down to 1 fourth. We can't reduce this any further. And if you divide 6 by 24 or 1 by 4, you'll get the same answer, 0 0.25. There's one more way we could look at this. We could say 6 times 1, that equals 6, and 6 times 4, that equals 6. Then, because we have 6 on the top and the bottom, we could cross that out, and we get the same thing we got before, 1 fourth. This is Dr. B, simplifying the fraction 6 over 24 down to 1 fourth. Thanks for watching.